went from really cold mm -hmm. back to nice. Back to nice and back to warm next couple of days okay. and then back to snow over the weekend. So we're going to stay pretty active. We got a couple of really cool shots. Oh, that is This is beautiful. one. Is Mary it, Weaver. Is that a painting, Mark? Yes, yeah, that is a painting, amazing. actually. And I told Mary, I said, don't be sending me pictures of paintings in your house. Oh, no. yeah. But this is great. And actually, wow. she got a couple other shots that she posted to Twitter, which are three or four of these really big bull elk, which are just stunning. And this yeah. is from Alto, which is amazing. And then Jim Merritt up in Angel Fire got this this morning. They got five or six inches of new snow and then some of the low-lying cloud cover this morning as the sun starts to rise. Beautiful stuff. So cool stuff from around the state. We always appreciate your pictures. You can send them on in and we'll do our best to get them on the air. And we've got a lot to talk about weather-wise. 42 degrees in the metro. Winds out of the north at 13 miles an hour. Temperature is going to be a cold night tonight. We're in the teens across places like Raton and 20s around Taos. Northern Mountain is going to be below zero later on tonight. And down to the south, temperatures in the 30s and 40s. But we do have a warming trend on the way. Today we had more of a northerly flow. So that led to a cooler day. But the overall trend is for high pressure to our west to Sort of get squashed down and dissipate, but as it does, we'll get more of a westerly flow across the area. And take a look at the temperature warm ups. We compare Tuesday's highs, today's highs, versus what we're going to have on Thursday. We're going to warm things up by 15 plus degrees across the western portion of the state. Here in central sections, whether it be Santa Fe, Albuquerque, or Las Cruces, everybody's going to warm up by at least 12 degrees to the high 60s here in the metro area and out to the east. You guys always get the biggest temperature swings. Raton's going to jump up by 30 degrees by Thursday, 25 degrees. And Tucum carry in 27 degrees warmer in Roswell by the time we hit Thursday. Pretty quiet for now as far as that cloud cover goes. And through the day tomorrow, we do get that warming trend, and then it really continues on Thursday as the temperatures stay very warm and we stay clear pretty much until we get into the weekend. That's when everything starts to change and we return to the storm track here. And it looks very, very promising. And we've talked about this a lot that high pressure has been hanging out over the West Coast throughout much of the winter. That has led the storm track on the edge of New Mexico. So we occasionally get storms that get close, like yesterday's, delivers five or six inches of snow to the mountains. But we haven't had that consistent big time storm track into the state. That may well start to change slowly over the next four to five days. The high is again going to get squashed down and dissipate. It's going to pull a big old trough over the west here. Now, at this point, there's plenty of debate on what's going to happen with the storm track and how sharp this trough is going to be and how helpful it's going to be. But the overall trend does look promising if we're looking at a wide-scale deal here over the next week or so to see more storms coming through the state and a lot colder air coming through as well. In fact, as we look at the 8 to 14 day outlook, it's above average too for precip for everybody. So we should be looking good here, starting to flip things around here a little bit more and get more storms in across the state. And you can see that reflected in the seven day forecast, especially across central and eastern sections. More on that in a second. But you guys in Durango, Pagosa Springs, a lot of sunshine over the next couple of days. Same deal across the northwest with warmer conditions on the way out to the southwest. Milder days and clear skies with temperatures eventually back into the 70s. Over to the southeast, Plenty of sunshine here tomorrow and Thursday. More clouds for Friday. Up to the northeast, here you can start to see the possibility of snow jumping back into the forecast for Saturday and much colder on Sunday with the possibility of snow. A mountain snowstorm will be a possibility over the weekend and into next week as well. But until we get there, a lot of sunshine for the next few days. East Mountains, more sunshine, warmer day on the way as well. And then Saturday into Sunday, possibility of picking up some snow. And same deal here in the metro. We'll start off cold tomorrow morning and then warming to around 60 degrees and chance at snow showers and rain snow mixes in the metro area as we head into Sunday after a high Thursday of 68. Nice to see another dose coming. All right, Mark, thank you.